My name is Willius, I'm a content creator for NRG, and this is my story. There were ups and downs in my childhood. I grew up in a very abusive and toxic household. To be honest, like he was really struggling. He was living with his parents who like were not uh, not nice, and he was kind of very hyper focused in school. And he kind of just drowned his sorrow, I guess you could say, into schoolwork. School for me acted as a happy place. I did tons of extracurriculars, trying to escape, I guess, that really negative home life and the environment that I was, grew up in. This gaming that I did do, I guess, gaming was a huge, huge part of my childhood. Um, cool math games, the flash games you would find online, those were my little happy places. When you click into a game, it puts you into a different world. A world where real life mechanics, real life physics, real life interactions don't really exist. Nice. nice. We're back, baby. That's how gaming became a way to escape. Spending time with friends, trying to five stack and battle it. Those are memories that I'll forever cherish. And those certain memories kept me going. Damn! Shit! Good shit. Thanks for the carry, man. Let's go, baby! I was kicked out on February 3rd, around 4 p.m. of 2022. Getting kicked out was a blessing in disguise. He moving in with me was both, okay, good thing to get with his parents, but also moving in gave him the ability to stream three, four hours a day during the school year. And it was nice to have him move in too. It was like a, a big change. I mean, for me, obviously, it was the best thing I think that could have happened to his career. His idea was it for Will to move in. I'd say it was like roughly mutual. He told me to take him in and I had the plates. Yeah, getting kicked out was probably, I have to say, the biggest L I ever took. But in the end, I had Vish. I had Vish's parents. I had all my friends' parents who supported me, who helped me. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for what Vish's parents, as well as all my friends' parents, have offered to support me. And without them, I would, I would not be here I am today. Over quarantine, I was really, really entranced in the Valorant. And after seeing my friend kind of blow up on TikTok, he recommended, instead of spending so much time just playing Valorant, do something in my life about it. All right, TikTok, I'm gonna end off the live right now here. If you're not Brain dead, go into my bio right now and then follow my Twitch. Will's journey, I think the star is always underrated, I feel like. I know for me personally, when I started making content, there was no one really to help me. And I was I struggled for like many months just to figure out, okay, this is how you use editing software, this is how you get the clips. It's like what this is what matters in the like algorithm. And I told him in the start, is if there's one thing you can notice in every video and improve every video, you will find success. Yo, what do you want, babe? Why haven't I talked to you in a week? Holy sh you're actually brain dead. I've been grinding Valorant ranked. I just hit silver three. My big moment was POV Valorant player breaks up with his girlfriend. You want to break up? Shit! You got to be trolling right now. No shot. I'm getting broken up with. It was the second POV that I made using what most people say they would call the Valorant accent. You made me lose the round, babe. You're actually throwing. Oh, you're not. You're not even trolling. You're actually branded. The first time we ever filmed it, I don't know if he told you this, but we filmed the Valorant accent, and I was like, "This is the cringiest thing I've ever seen. Like, you can't post this." Wait, you being for real? <sighs> Unlucky. I didn't think you would F5 so fast on our relationship. The moment that TikTok was released, within three hours, I checked my phone and it has like. Two, three hundred thousand views. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I just kept refreshing, kept swiping, and that was probably the fastest I've ever gotten a million views. It was in a matter of hours. Things just started blowing up. And I still understand to this day, I still understand why people like these videos. My reaction to blowing up was first, shock. Second, it was joy. Third, was worry. I was like, how do I like control this blow up? How do I maintain this viewership? I sit down here to stream every single day. That little beautiful wonder shot of Rockstar Energy, the greatest drink on earth. Streaming while blowing up was probably one of the greatest decisions I've ever made. I, I went from a small streamer that averaged maybe 20 viewers to someone that averaged 200. Eventually, I, was, I found a way to balance my grades, balance my extracurriculars, my sports with gaming, with content creation that I really enjoyed. And yes, I did get into Harvard, um, and I guess that's my best way of justifying everything that I've done today. I got in! I got in! Let's go! So my story with NRG essentially starts with a Twitter post. Got a lot of impressions, got a lot of retweets, got a lot of this, got a lot of that. 
But then I go through my Twitter DMs and someone called NRG Jamie DMs me. He's like, hey, we've been following you for a while. Um, you want to sit, sit down and talk about this NRG and just in general? I was like, oh, wow, NRG is pretty darn big org. And I set up a call with him. We talked, uh, like more into his backstory, um, his relationship with his parents, things like that. He asked me about my passions. He asked me about my blow up. He was like, oh, this sounds pretty good. I'm going to get you in contact with Grady. I got on the phone call with him, and I think a lot of people were thinking, oh, is he just a one-trick guy? Does he just do one video? And then we started to find out, oh my gosh, this kid's going to Harvard. This kid has, like, this amazing life story. Just looking at his resume, like, you could tell, like, I mean, he was just an insanely driven person overall. So I felt like, you know, this, this kid deserves a chance to show what he can do. He asked me to fly down to Dallas to just meet everyone, to see what the vibes were like. I wasn't sure how real Valorant pros were going to react to him, but the moment I knew he fit in is Sam walked up to him and was like, dude, I love your videos. It was a really special moment. That was a really, really enjoyable experience. And I didn't realize at that time it was pretty much like an interview almost. He seemed really driven and obviously was able to turn that into a really good foundation of a following. And we actually signed him to like a shorter term deal, which we've since you know extended. And it was kind of like a trial and he really killed it. Still thinking of that moment now, seeing that tweet pop up, it was still get shiver. It was like, like a top three moment in my life. So, yeah. There's a certain skill set you have to have. You have to like this confidence, this kind of aura you um, exude, Will has, where it's very, um, you can work those hours, you can stream for eight hours a day. You can kind of just grind. And also community engagement. I think that's how what became successful because I feel like every viewer of his feels a connection to him. Is your name Willius? I think I know you from TikTok, Will. Are you Willius? You're Oh my really? god. I have an audience to talk to, I have people to make happy, and everyone that watches my stream, I regard to as friends. Will, can you come to my volleyball tryouts? You're not making your tryouts, bro. Streaming ranges from 7 hours to 12 hours to 14 hours, maybe at 24, I'm feeling super special. And I don't even know how, how I just get myself through these. I mean, thanks to rocks or energy, <laughs> um, I'm sometimes able to feel myself and just like stream. A lot of us might stop queuing here because it's the end of the act and we're weak, but I'm not. We go. Being able to use streaming as a way to fund myself, to travel all around. I have so many ideas that I want to implement. I just can see him not only crushing it in the creator sphere, but I think he has the creativity and the drive and the passion to create projects that are bigger than himself. Hustle On is something that I will always relate to. A lot of people don't realize that in front of them, it may seem like nothing, but in the most dire of situations, even when you feel like you have nothing, you can make something out of nothing. 